Hey, this is Frank with The Brain Garage, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a high-focus Brainwave MP3 with binaural beats and isochronic tones using G-Neural and Audacity. It's a simple process. We've made several videos on this technique. If you are new to the channel or the concept, please check out the four-video introductory course we created. I'll have the link underneath the description of this video so that can help you get started but here we're just going to demonstrate a high focus mp3 and that means of course beta brain waves and those are brain waves in the 13 to 30 hertz range and what these are for are if you're studying or want to stay awake or concentrate and they've actually become some of the more popular videos on our channel So we are here in the G neural workspace and as you see along the horizontal axis we have an hour long video. The uh, vertical axis is the actual brainwave frequencies and you have binaural beats already preloaded and pink noise. The first thing I'm going to do is shorten the length of this to 30 minutes for demonstration purposes. You go up to tools and truncate schedule. You type in the number of seconds. 30 minutes is 1800 seconds. As you see along the horizontal axis, it has changed down to 30 minutes. The next thing I do is actually delete the pink noise voice. I don't like the one that is generated in Genoral. I prefer the one in Audacity, which we'll do in the next step. So I'm going to go to voice, delete, and all I have left is the binaural beat. Now you see this node here along the pink line. I can bring it up into the beta brainwave and just like some of the other videos I like to start with a bit of a ramp. That is start off at 10 Hertz. Yeah, here's what we gotta do. And then bring it up in three minutes. So actually I'm going to bring it down here to about 12 hertz, which is the high end of alpha, and go up to 19 hertz, which is really a nice concentration level. Here's what we're going to do with the node, and you see I bring that up a little further, all the way up to 28 hertz. Now personally, when I do beta brain waves, I like to stay in the 20s because I don't want to get too burned out. You can feel jittery or a little nervous with too much beta brainwave. So I do like to vary it so that I am alert but not nervous. Why get nervous when all you're doing is trying to study? Okay, so that's pretty decent. I'll bring the early one all the way up to 30 and bring these up a little bit more into the 20s. You dip down a little around 11 minutes, take the edge off, and this is just very random. I experiment because I listen to the MP3s myself, and I just do what I like and do what works for me. So you see we've got basically a three minute ramp in the beginning from high alpha going into beta, six minutes, you're alert, dip down a little bit, a little bit more, and then you maintain this level for 30 minutes. Toward the end, you've got a minute and a half ramp down into alpha. Very simple. Now, what I also like to do besides binaural beats, by the way, let me give you a demonstration of what it sounds like. Very quick. And you can see you're already picking up. So I also like isochronic tones. In order to achieve an isochronic tone in the file, you click on binaural beat, go up to tools, and duplicate the selected voice. That gives us two binaural beat um, files, and you can't see them on the graph because they are literally identical. They're stacked one on top of the other. What I'm going to do is click on one of them, go up to edit and voice and properties, we have the drop-down menu, and I'm going to change it to an isochronic pulse. 
Now, in order to hear what an isochronic pulse in the beta brainwave frequency sounds like, I'm going to mute the binaurals, and that's what the isochronic sounds like. I'm going to stop it, take the mute off, because now I want to export this to my folder, and I will then import it into Audacity to assemble the final MP3. So here we go up to File, Export Audio to File, and click on Desktop, which is where my folder is, and I've created a special folder for this project. Now I highlight, and we're going to do a high focus demo, and we're going to save it. And you can see it's saving, so it's actually exporting these tones to the folder, where I'll then import it into Audacity. Once I've got it in Audacity, I work with the volume, I create a pink noise track, and then I import some music. Okay, and it's all finished, so now I'm going to minimize Gnarl, and we've got Audacity already here. I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio. Now this is a different file folder than I was using. Go to the right one, go to the High Focus Demo, and we're going to import those binaural beats and isochronic tones. It's a 30 minute long track. You can see the horizontal axis in Audacity. And one of the things I do is keep the volume low in Gnarl so that it isn't too loud once I get it into Audacity. Let's listen to it. Now some people like listening to those raw or naked. I find them a little distracting. So what I do is lower the volume and then I go up here and watch Audacity freeze on me. And I'll wait till it unfreezes. Maybe I'll pause the video for a second. And now that I've lowered the volume on the binaural beat and isochronic tone track, I go up into tracks, add new, stereo. That gives me another two channel track. What I want to do is generate noise. In this case, pink noise, because I've made several of these demonstration videos, it's already set to 1800 seconds and I'm going to generate that 30 minute pink noise track and watch Audacity take its time popping it up And here we go. We have both tracks now in, in Audacity. You can click on View and fit vertically so that we can see both tracks. And that's a little loud, so I'm also going to lower the volume on the pink noise track. And let's see. That's a little better. I'm going to lower the volume a little bit more. You can still hear the binaural beats and isochronic tones. My personal opinion is that you can continue to lower this until it's just out of range. Now we're going to stop this and add music. And that helps mask the sound of the pink noise and the binaural beats a little bit better. Let's see, let's find my self-hypnosis course. And bring this track in. And you see I'm bringing in an MP3. I prefer those. They're smaller. I am dealing with hundreds of gigs of audio information on my computer. And it does slow down. Although I have used Audacity for nine years through different operating systems and computers, I do find that um, you have to come up with an external hard drive solution if you're going to go into this kind of production full time. And there we have it. Again, I want to fit it in the window, so go up to View, Fit Vertically, and you can see all three tracks. Let's go to a random point. And that is nice. That's exactly where I want it to be.
So now, in 10 minutes, I've actually assembled a high focus or beta brainwave MP3. Actually, it's still an Audacity project. So what I'm going to do now is export it as an MP3 and let you listen to it in its final format. Once it's an MP3, of course, you can put it on your iPod, iPhone, or other portable device and listen to it while you're studying or trying to stay alert doing some kind of work. Let's go up to File. Click Export. You see, it's already called High Focus Demo. I'm going to Control c and copy that because when I hit Save, the metadata comes up. And I'm going to click OK. Now, this is going to take a minute, so I'm actually going to pause the video and come back when it's complete. And so the MP3 is finished exporting. I'm going to open the folder where it exists and click on High Focus Demo. You can see over here that there's a little preview. And look at that. We have our High Focus 30-minute MP3 in the beta brainwave range, and I did it in about 12 minutes, even allowing for the times I paused the screen recorder. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I appreciate everybody who watches the channel and subscribes. And again, if you're new to this concept, please check out the introductory course I did. It's got four videos in it. And this particular video here is the fourth of the advanced videos, where I go into each of the four brainwave states and how to create a specific MP3 for that in Gnural and Audacity. And yes, I know I'm pronouncing Gnural wrong. It's Noral. But I got into the habit of calling it Gnural. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Forward it, favorite it, subscribe to it. Thank you so much, and I hope you use it. Oh, one last thing. The links to both the playlist for the introductory course and the downloads for Gnural and Audacity are underneath, the underneath this video in the description. Take care and have a great day.